hear your A. This one here, right? And then did you start the trill one? Uh, I think you just pointed out what we were going to do. I don't think she needs oh. to start. Oh, that one okay. Yet. Okay, okay. So we'll just make sure we get started on it. I, I never can find the right angle here. I don't know how to do it so you can see yourself. Can you see yourself in that picture? Yes. Okay. Good. So you can play real notes, actually. Good. So now the whole point of this is to find your uh, position by extending back, right? So it looks good. Now, if you feel it's not comfortable, what you want to do is start um, here. might be more logical. Good. 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 Now, obviously this is pretty simple, right? But it doesn't have to be played. We want to really slow. So I want you to feel also that the fingers that are down are not pressed down, but and that you relax your four after you play it. second part of this so so basically it's the same idea This is the tricky one because we have to play moving that third finger. Really, 
the shape of your hand is really good, so that should not be a problem. Okay, so then we turn, don't forget to turn the page to here. Okay, so uh, this is page 40, and we're going to practice with five notes first total. <laughs> We're going to stop the bow at the end of the bow. Stop. Which becomes the beginning of the new note. Want to try that? So tip. Good. You don't have to get all the way. Stop. Good. And then we push the string. Good. in that third finger for good reason because it says what on top of that trill? Natural. Yes. Good. F natural. Uh, A. Good. Then we'll tap. So really, I want you to do the whole thing. Okay. So with five, and if you think that five is pretty good, then you can add one more trill. Okay? Okay, so I'm going to put a little ear on this page so you remember. Okay, that's good. And... Did we do, we did your shradiac last week too, yes. didn't we? So we added another line, line six. Okay, can I do six with, uh, with uh, eight for bow? Again, like that, and I want you to think of it as being a song. Short long. 
the voting. Short, 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 short one. Can you start at the beginning of this and go to here with one measure per bow? The, the yeah. The the frog. Oh, wait, 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 you missed it. They're too jerky. Can you? Uh... Can you anticipate them? Good. Good. And. Can we just go just from here down low? Uh -oh. Good. Good, and go on. Good, so just put your... So just a half. Obviously, the last one is the best because you worked on it. But I really want you to get all the way from the beginning and then go through seven. And, and see if you can really uh, make them brilliant. Okay? Okay. Uh, September, too. Okay, so that's that. And... doing this one. 
around here? Yeah, we used to. Okay, great. Okay, so let's hear this one. So, uh, what we want to do, yeah. more Well, we have one flat. Yes. But it's not B flat. One flat. I mean, if it were a major, it, it's a big if. <laughs> if it were a major key, it would be what key? B major. B flat. Yes, you do know. 
Okay, remember we always go the second to the last flat, but there's not a second to the last flat, so you have to go down a perfect fourth. So play the B flat, play your B flat, and then play a fourth down. That's right. It would be F major if it were major. Okay, so can you just go from here and tell me if it sounds major? Good, no, but it's kind of to lay lower half. Okay, that's that. And can we hear your barn dance? Is it memorized? Yes. Okay, good. Can, is it going to be ready to play tomorrow in class? Yes. Okay.
little space. Good, and you can't be late. Good. Okay, really good. Let me see if I find a piano.
Okay, what other pieces of Bach do you know? Um, Bach double. Yeah, that's very good. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it's not double. It's not good. I think you know. <laughs> right. Right. Remember that? Yeah. The three minuet. Actually, we know a lot of Bach, don't we? A lot of Bach in our uh, beginning. Uh, earlier repertoire, we have the G minor. Uh, we have yeah. Okay, but outside of what you've played, have you heard any Bach? Any uh, orchestral suites? Probably. Okay. You know, just have your dad put on lots of Bach. How about the. Um, You've heard me play Bach a lot too. Yeah, the sonatas and partitas. And, um, you know, one of my favorite all time Bach recordings 
is Jamie Laredo playing with Glenn Gould, the six uh, violin harpsichord piano sonatas that um, uh, they're, those recordings are just magnificent. They're just absolutely so. Just every day, listen to a little Bach of something. Okay. okay? He also wrote another concerto, the E major violin concerto, which you can listen to also. So just as we're um, uh, moving now into our really big time rep, you want to just also be aware of the other things that he's written. Okay. You also could just do a little research on his life. You know, he had how many children? Way too many. Yeah, guess. almost double it. We think 21. And a few of them uh, became great composers, even during his lifetime. During his lifetime, he was considered old-fashioned and people forgot about him. He was out of style. And his sons he became the important composers of the day. Well, they were made way more famous than he was. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And I always think he had so many children that that in those days they didn't have computers and they didn't have ways of writing of uh, writing music quickly or even getting it off to the publishing houses quickly and that's how he made his living from um, also besides working for the church much of his life uh, so I think he had all these children so they could copy the music for him <laughs> that's my theory Old slave labor. <laughs> yeah, who wants 21 children? Can you imagine all running around? Okay, he had two wives. It wasn't one wife. His first wife had the majority of them, though. I, I think, think 12, and then the other popped in, so. And they popped out. <laughs> okay. okay, so here we go. Bop, bop, da, da. Actually, that in the beginning it's the tutti, which means what? That everybody's playing. Yeah. And then here is your first solo here. So in these days, Bach most likely was the soloist, and he would be the concert master and conductor of his orchestra. So uh, then he would make a solo here. Good. Now, now we want to find probably get more to the frog. Good. So we want this up bow to get to the frog. That's good.
it to F flat. No. You wouldn't like that, did you? it off for next time? Yep. Okay, so let's start at the beginning. Up, down, up, down. So again, we want to take a look at where we can be most musical with our bow. Up, down, up, down, then upper half, more, and then we have the old more or less story here, right? So let's start in the middle, in the middle, up, good. So we, we can even, what if we lift the bow just a little, up, down, up, down, rest, up, bow, good. So we do up, down, just to go to here, we don't need the whole bow. Just to here, up, down, then to the tip. Uh, uh, 
let's see if this makes sense to you. So. These A's, are they equal? No. So again, we're just, just a and left. And yeah, good. And stay in the middle. Yeah, Now, your first solo is going to take us this up boat to the frog here. are really good. Uh, let me just point something out. Bach always has hidden voices um, in his music. So they're hidden and we can find them in different ways. So if this is one voice, then this is a pickup to um, to the next work. So watch. You see that this would be one voice here, here, here. So So let's just do for fun. Can you just do? Right, so just and good next next three and good. okay. Now can you play the other voice? Just the Okay, now I'm gonna let you play this voice, and I'll be the other voice. Very cool, huh? Okay, can you see if you make your voices? Good, so ba ba. ba. about 
about these voices? Are they logical in any way? Mm -hmm. In what way? They have the pattern. Right, they have the same pattern. And what, what about the direction of the note? Is down. Yeah, so that's Bach. That's Baroque music. They'll go down or they'll go up. up. Right, it, stepwise, exactly. Or sometimes they'll skip steps, but in this case, it's down, right? Okay, so you'll stay aware of that. Now, this is one of my favorite places. Can we just go from here? we think about that's the lowest right or the soft end. Happens. There you go, it's a smudge in the air tank. 